Comedy legend John Cleese has said that extreme political correctness is having a disastrous effect on comedy. In an interview on US TV, he said a lot of comedians are now sitting there and when they think of something, they say, can I get away with it? I don't think so. So and so got in trouble for a similar remark. And that, says Cleese, is the death of creativity. He's so right on the week that Dave Chappelle, the legendary US comic, saw his theatre show cancelled for gags about trans issues. And there's been more confected rage around the brilliant Jimmy Carr this week for, again, simply doing his job and telling jokes. Edgy ones, yes, but that's what he does so well. So Cleese is a hero all over again with this intervention. This is a man who gave the world Monty Python, Faulty Towers and A Fish Called Wanda, to name but a few. And thank God this 82-year-old comic genius is using his power and his platform to call out what could be the death of his art form. And why is that important? Well, because comedy is what makes life worth living. It's what makes life bearable by not taking things too seriously. Looking at the funny side of even our worst problems is a particularly British trait. It's why it's the best place in the world to live. No matter what us Brits are going through, we always try to have a laugh about it. I'm always reminded of the incredible emotional roller coaster that was Only Fools and Horses, one of my favourite shows. At one point, you're in tears because of a fight between Del Boy and Rodney. Seconds later, you're in hysterics as they've made a joke about it. The gags during the funeral in relation to Uncle Albert, Uncle Albert's funeral, one of the funniest episodes they ever made. Why was it funny? Because in comedy, nothing should be off limits, even a funeral. But now comedians attack each other for not being woke enough. And I've got to say, so many stand-up routines now just sound like a political lecture rather than comedy. That's fine. I'm all for free speech. But go woke, no joke. Tedious, politically correct comedy is a big turnoff for audiences. Viewing figures for shows like Live at the Apollo, which was once brilliant, are now in the toilet. Toilet humour, if you like. Comedy should have no boundaries, no safety net, no insurance policy, and no one's feelings should be spared. Within the law, you can say what the hell you like. Comedy is a bellwether for free speech. If comedians can't speak truth to power and make jokes about anything they like, we have no free speech and therefore no freedom of thought, no way to release the pressure valve of our own problems, and no way to help us navigate towards being a better happier and more understanding society. Comedy is a central plank of an enlightened, accountable, democratic, evolving and free society. Comedy is so good for us, so important, so fun, but we're killing it. And that is no laughing matter.